The strive that we're leading towards with Creekstone is to always improve and get more out of it. Every facility is different. When KPI first came, they wanted to understand what our needs were. It wasn't just, hey, this is what I have to offer, this is what you're gonna get. It was, well, what do you guys need? They were looking, they were growing, and part of that obstacle, how do I do that from a distribution standpoint? And their old systems were forklifts and pallets, very inefficient, and they just couldn't scale their plant to the size they needed to. So we kind of met in the middle and said, okay, what are you wanting to do with your plant capacity? And this is what we can do for your distribution center capacity. So it was marrying that size of that uh, solution to what they wanted to accomplish with the rest of the plant. In the Creekstone facility, it was a good balance between what you need to put in there and the allowable space. You don't want to cool air that you don't need to be cooling. So you build a building just large enough for the function that you want that building to have. And therefore, you're setting yourself up for your most equitable proposition relative to the cost of that space. We began to work with them about this single box storage system with the carousels, which gives them the flexibility to pull any box that they want at any time and not have to move all the other products. So the carousels do the work for them. The conveyor is a thread that weaves everything together between different functions within the warehouse. The first step is to get it from fabrication into the DC and via the conveyor, and that delivers it to the carousels, you know, the IEs, uh, the stacks, if you will, the 55,600 single box storage locations overall between the 80 carousels that are in the system. And step number two is, okay, we gotta get it on a truck. And so now we have to select it, we have to pick it. So the same carousel IE system where it's stored will go and retrieve a box, get it on the conveyor and send it to the accumulation deck where we accumulate in discrete pallets in a specific order. So that gets accumulated into those one of 14 lanes. Once the entire pallet has arrived in that lane, it'll discharge to a palletizer, one of two, and the palletizer will then stack it as planned on the pallet, discharge it to the stretch wrapper. That'll wrap and discharge, then the final pallet is ready for pickup and put on the truck. The automation takes care of the hard work. Injuries go down significantly, uh, which is the big win-win there. Because there are hundreds, if not thousands of people that work in those plants that you just can't afford to have downtime. It's perishable product. You can't afford to have downtime. Not having downtime is so important because of the cost. The first year I was here, we had 36 minutes downtime for the whole year. The second year, 26 minutes. Now, who's ever heard numbers like that in any business anywhere in the world? The basic concept that all this does, it takes all the human error out of it. You get a good, consistent product that goes to the customer that they ordered. And if something does happen, it catches it. The labor's down, the efficiencies are up. Uh, we have a 99.9% .9 accuracy with the carousel. Inventory is so much better. I mean, everything's right there in the carousel and you can verify it with the system and make it work for you. KPI has been very available. That's all you can ask for, you know? You call and somebody answers the phone. You know, I have direct numbers to the people that I need to have direct numbers to, and they answer when I call, so I like that. They're calm, they would talk to you, walk you through it. They're right there with the knowledge, which is comforting. The communication made it easy. Anytime you go from 100% manual to that much automation, there's gonna be bumps in the road but the amount of communication that was dealt with helped out tremendously. I could start by, well, I could make a phone call right now and they'll pick up by the second ring. Second ring, every time, I don't care, night or day. That's the first place it starts. That's your comfort zone. You know, I have, I'm in a bind, I'm calling you because I need help. So everything that's built into these systems, the redundancies and the support is built around our knowledge, KPI's knowledge of the industry. And it's folks that just know it. They know it because we lived it. We've done a number of these, and that really gives our clients a feeling of confidence. We really understand the protein industry. 
first project I ever seen done exactly right was the Creekstone project with the DC. 